Hello friends, I am Manoj Mittal. Welcome to my bot framework tutorial. Here we are going to learn how to set up the bot framework development environment as there are two uh, ways to set up the bot framework development environment. One we can use the .NET, other we can use the Node.js. As I am a .NET guy, I'm going to use the .NET. So before starting, there are a couple of prerequisites we need to follow. We need to install the Visual Studio 2017 update all extensions and need to download all these three templates and need to place the respective folder locations. So I have already downloaded the Visual Studio 2017 update with all extensions and I downloaded the bot applications controller and dialog and place in the respective folders. This is the project template folders and the item template folders. So let me navigate and show you that section. So once I navigate here, so this is my uh, template folder. I go to the project template visual C sharp. I have a bot application and I move to the item template, move to the visual C sharp, both controller and dialog. So these templates are helpful to make it available the bot application template into the visual studio sections so once i navigate to the visual studio sections file new project so if i click on visual c sharp here we can find the bot applications so this is the reason we are getting the bot applications template here otherwise it will not be available so there are two options here we can use this bot applications and build uh, the <coughs> bot application from the scratch or either we can build the bot applications onto the Azure portal, download the code and do the necessary changes and publish again back to the Azure resources and start using. So I'm not going to create here. I'm going, I have already created my bot under the Azure portal. The bot is bot 2008 I'm going to open this one under the build sections. So we have a options we can uh, use the online editor that is a visual studio online or we can download this file and we can use into the offline or in the desktop visual studio we can open the entire solutions do the necessary changes and upload it again so once i click it here it will take a couple of minutes uh, to download so i have already downloaded this sections so i'm going to showcase you this one so i have downloaded this files i have unchipped this section I'm going to open into the Visual Studio, this files. Once I open into the Visual Studio, this file, it just shows entire solutions uh, come here. So it, this is just a MVC web API project. It has a controller. It has a dialog, basic QA maker control. We are using the QA maker as a source for us where the data is coming from there. So the controller is calling the basic QA maker. So this is the section. So before proceeding anything, we need to check the references. Once we download the solutions, entire links are broken. We need to relink or update all the packages. So we need to click on the here, manage NuGet packages. So as I already clicked here on the manage NuGet packages, it's going to the update sections. It shows all the update uh, to us. So let it load all the updates. So this is the one sections, uh, let it upload. So yeah, so all the 19 updates are available. I select it and clicked on the update. So it will take a couple of more seconds to update all the packages for us. And we have one more sections after that uh, in the web.config file. So there is, we need to add a couple of entries from where we can take those entries. So I can show you here, we can go down in the application setting. So let it load. Yep, in application setting, we have a Azure web storage. We have a QA knowledge base ID, QA subscription key. Those key value pair we can take and update into our Visual Studio solutions. You can see I, I accept the license here. So it's uh, going to update. So it will not take a couple of more seconds. As you can see, all the packages is going to update and the broken link is coming. Broken link has removed. So let it complete. So it's going to update. Shortly it will show the finish. Okay, it's, yep, it's uh, done. So now one more changes we need to do. I have added the these subscriptions keys 
here that is required so where it's required we have a dialog in the dialog sections we are using the uh, <clears throat> we need to update this sections utility sections with the configuration managers we need to do these changes here so those changes uh, we are just going to add the references for that so similar configuration manager dot app setting changes we need to do the in the constructor also so if we go so here also we are going to change so this sections so let's go and build the solution so once we build let's see it's failed so we're trying to figure out the what's the error is coming it's showing we it's an it's need microsoft.net compiler 1.2.1 again we are going back to the manage it package uh, install here we are going to type microsoft.net compiler we'll see which version is installed it's a 2.6.1 but we need 1.2.1 so we need to <clears throat> degrade this versions with the older one so let it load this sections it's loaded so we need 1.2.1 and need to update this section so let it update it will not take a couple of more seconds it will ask for accept the license so here it's showing we are using the dotnet framework 4.6 so this is the reasons that we change uh, the entries in the our qna dialog with a configuration manager dot app setting instead of utility dot get key so that is not recognized in this particular version okay so let it complete here yeah. accept so we can wait for finish yep yeah, it finish we can go and rebuild the solution okay once the solution will build we can test the solutions using locally to test the solution locally we need to install the emulators so we need to navigate for the emulator to this uh, url i need to download this exes i have already downloaded this exes and with that we need to download the ng rock we need to use as a reference in the emulator that one so you can see i have already downloaded emulators and ng rock i'm going to check emulator so here so in the, in the emulator we can do the setting of the ng rock before that let me run my solution also so i'm going to run the solution i just click on run or you can do the f5 so now your solution is running it's taking time on the local host 3984 so here we can do the first configurations with the ng rock so here we have a, you can place this ng rock file anywhere and you can use these sections i just clicked on save here we need to use uh, my local 3984 as i already have we need to place with the api messages and no need to place the app id and the password as we are using locally just click on the connect here we can start typing the message hi we'll wait for the response what the response comes here as we launch it will take a couple of seconds yes no second is what is the right line so here we can test here what the message is coming and the second options what we can take we can publish the entire solution to the visual studio and we can check it there also so let me go to the visual studio stop the solutions we can publish uh, to the azure portal to publish it as your portals i'll navigate there uh, and we need to download the profile just click on the apps services so here we can get the profile I'll just download the profile so this is the profile is available so here we can go to the visual studio click publish we can import that particular profile create new profile import publish so as we have downloaded the profile so what profile i used this is the latest one okay so it's going to install my azure bot solutions uh, the azure portal online so let's wait for a couple of more seconds we can verify all the changes what changes we have done here and we can test with the same output what our the local 
locally we test in the boat emulator same we can test onto the azure online portal on the bot framework so it just publish has started it's going to publish all the dlls and all the respective files what we have changed so let's wait for a couple of more seconds so it should not take more time so these so this is the so in the meantime i will explain from where we are taking uh, those questions and answers is coming as we have a q and a maker here as we created the last time in my first tutorial so you can visit the first tutorial link is say uh, you can see how we created this q and a maker you can see here i created here direct, direct line we created direct line if you can see what is the direct line so it's just uh, giving me those answers so you can see what is the rate limit where we have direct line if i'm typing this question it's just giving me that answer here let me navigate to the visual studio oh it's done and it's uh, done with uh, it's published at a particular location so this is my azure website i can navigate to the uh, portal so let me go there i just click on my web app bot so just let me quickly navigate to the test section so test section we can test my bot is working fine here or not i just type hello or hi hello so what is direct line so it just gave the answer it should be the same yep yeah, it's coming correct so now we can verify the code changes also so you can go here and open online editor so here we can check whether our the changes what we did is exist there or not so it just for the verification purpose what are the changes we did in the web.config and the q a base dialog dot cs file both the changes we can cross check if it exists then our solutions has updated here so i just navigate to the c you can see all the changes what changes we did here and some changes we did in the basic q a maker dialog so those changes is also exist so similarly you can do all the changes in the visual studio solutions and publish in the q a uh, azure bot framework so this is the so end-to-end -end deployment uh, sections how to set up the bot framework environment thank you for watching the my tutorials if you like it my <coughs> tutorial please like or subscribe my channel thank you